So with the 15.10 Ubuntu family releases comes one of the most unassuming distributions out there. Known as Ubuntu 15.10, this Ubuntu-based release rocks the latest version of XFCE. So what does that all boil down to? A pretty sweet distribution. This is my video review of Ubuntu 15.10. Okay, so the big news with Zubuntu 15.10 is mostly feature enhancements on XFCE 4.12. Now, I haven't done a video on XFCE 4.12 in and of itself. Uh, and I've got to be honest, I really have been out of the loop in terms of what XFCE has been up to over these last couple of months. But I've got to say, I'm pleasantly su surprised from when I first started using XFCE probably back in 2011. It's come an awful long way, and so has Zubuntu as a distribution. So let's touch up on some of the things that are brand new to the XFCE desktop as of the February release of XFCE 4.12. First of all, high pixel density display support. So basically, if you have a super high res monitor, then XFCE is able to scale a lot better to those super crispy displays. Also, one of the other nice touches that I've found is the intelligent panel settings. So when you go into your settings manager that is directly in XFCE, you can actually customize the panels to automatically and automatically hide themselves whenever a window encounters them, which is a really nice touch. And it's one of those things that you expect out of a fully fledged desktop environment, but certainly seeing it in a lightweight one like XFCE is not bad at all. And while we're on improved support, let's talk about the improved multi-monitor support. Because honestly, that's not really something that we often give much time or thought to when it works. But when it doesn't work, my goodness, it bugs us to no end. So multi-monitor support is a lot better in this current release, giving you a lot more of the same customization and power that you'd expect from a fully featured distribution. This is, are you noticing a bit of a theme here? Also one of the improvements that they made in XFC 4.12 is much improved power management settings. Again, these are very, very granular on par with what you'd expect from KDE or uh, probably, not even, probably not even GNOME nowadays. Uh, GNOME's quite trimmed back. But that aside, we've got some very granular power settings here, which combined with the lightweight nature of XFCE and Zubuntu makes it a very compelling distribution for that thin light laptop that you like to carry around with you to get all your work done when you're on the go. Also features like quadrant snapping are here as well, so you can snap windows to the four corners of your desktop, which is kind of nice. And obviously it being based on Ubuntu 15.10, we have all of the latest version numbers here, like the Linux kernel 4.2, Firefox 41, LibreOffice 5, etc, etc. Now, I also want to highlight a few changes that they've made to the installed programs lineup. Now, I know that I don't generally cover this because it's not usually that important, but in Zubuntu, it does make a little bit of a difference. First of all, they've dropped the applications of GIMP, AbbeyWord, and Genumeric, and they've added in parts of LibreOffice. Uh, obviously, they've tried to keep the image as slim as possible to try and keep it a minimal install footprint. But it's nice to see that with inclusions like LibreOffice, they've actually taken the time to make the icons look nice and the overall theming look like, looks like it belongs in Zubuntu 15.10. So it's a nice touch. Obviously, we also have updated versions of the file manager known as Thuna. So we can now have tabbed browsing in the different folders that you might have. And also we do have the updated version of Catfish, which is apparently a lot quicker now to find the files that you are looking for, as there's no integrated, I guess, uh, synaptic style searching that is going on in the background. Now, what does all this mean? It means that at the end of the day, you're gonna have a very lightweight system. So if I have a look at what system resources we're currently using at the moment, we're using about 12% of eight gig, and that is with opening and closing a bunch of stuff. Now at a cold boot, I was using a little under 500 meg. Now here's where I want to introduce something that's a little bit new with Zubuntu, and that is a release of Zubuntu Core. 
Now Zubuntu Core exists to basically be a super stripped down version of Zubuntu. So if you just want the lightweight base of Zubuntu, the Ubuntu Core base with XFCE plopped on top and nothing else, then Zubuntu Core is what that exists for. And from what I've seen, from what I've heard, you can get significantly less RAM usage by using and installing that version and adding your own applications, so forth and so on after the fact. Now, I do realize that this review has more been about XFCE 4.12 than Zubuntu 15.10, but it has been a while since I had a look at it, and for me, these are some of the headlining features that jump out to me. Unfortunately, we're still stuck with the Ubuntu Software Center in terms of adding and removing software, which overall, especially on slower systems, is going to lead to a pretty stodgy experience when it comes to installing and managing your applications. So I would definitely recommend installing Synaptic and GDB and all those other packages to help you manage your system in terms of software. In its attempt to be as utilitarian as possible, XFCE provides a very lightweight user experience for the person that just wants to get simple computing tasks done. Don't expect any online integration accounts, don't expect any background indexing going on. But everything that happens with this distribution happens on the surface because you asked it to. It's not gonna do anything you don't want it to, and it's not gonna to connect to any Amazon services or anything like that. So for the users that believe that Windows XP was the golden era of PC computing, then let me know down in the comments below and check out Zubuntu because honestly Zubuntu provides a very nice polished XFCE distribution for the user that wants all the features and none of the bloat.